because if we don't cry, we're not alive. Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Jashashri and I make YouTube videos now, trying to inspire people to get in touch with their creativity again, get in touch with the part of themselves which they have lost in all of these years or, or lost touch with or have gotten so deeply ingrained in the corporate world that they've forgotten that they used to paint, they used to draw, they used to do things that brought them joy. So, so welcome and I hope you like, I hope you like my channel, I hope you like my words and if you do, please subscribe. <laughs> So today's video is about a theme that I touched upon before, which is perfectionism. Perfectionism is, a, is and has been a running theme in my life since I was pretty young. Everything I get into, I have to be the best at. Why? Because uh, first of all, social conditioning, then school and my parents, my friends, every single thing. So when I was young, when I was a child, I used to be good at almost everything, which turned out to be such a huge expectation that I had to carry on when I grew older, that there came a point where I wasn't good at things anymore. I didn't sing that well, I didn't draw that well, I didn't do any of the activities that I liked that well. I could not get into half of the things that I actually wanted to. And that sort of set me back a lot. My self-esteem went into under the earth. Yeah. And it, it, it just turns so horrible. It, it gets so bad. It got so bad at one point that I stopped believing I could even be good at anything ever in my whole life. Yes, that is an extreme take. And being an extreme take, it's also very common take these days because as soon as one starts developing as soon as one starts developing their mind their bodies their emotions they are told to shut their emotions down something that i've dealt with a lot as i grew up i learned that being emotional is being unaware just somebody who is not worth anything if you are emotional or if you show the emotional parts of yourself, if you cry, if you get angry, if you feel any of those emotions, you are just not allowed to be there. You're not allowed to be a part of the group. You're not allowed to say your opinions because they're rooting from emotions. Which now as an adult is so confusing to me because we've all grown up having emotions. We were born having emotions. The first moment we are born we are supposed to cry because if we don't cry we're not alive that applies to so many things now if we don't cry we are not alive damn so yes growing up i understood that my emotion should be shoved down until i got to ninth grade i guess where i started taking my own emotions a little more seriously and i started taking other people's problems just as seriously as more seriously than i took mine which is why i came to a point where i prioritized everybody's emotions they came up to me with their emotions but in my head i was still rationalizing mine i was still criticizing myself for feeling any emotions i was still trying to run after an idea of how i should be feeling I believed in order for me to be perfect, I should just numb my feelings, pretend they're not there, and even if they are there, I should learn how to control them. How do I control my anger? How do I control my sadness? How do I control my tears? How do I control my joy? The fact that we are conditioned to believe that joy is also something that should be controlled. I remember... I was very young, I was lying in my bed and my mom once said, um, I was laughing a lot at something. I was with my sister and we were laughing a lot about something. And then she comes up to me and says, you know the same place you laugh at, you also cry a lot at. 
and then that's the moment i stopped laughing so much after that i was like you know i should not laugh so much because then i'll end up crying and the thing is that every single time i did laugh out loud every single time i did burst out laughing that's the first thought that came into my mind don't laugh so much just stop it because you know it will lead to you crying a lot the funniest part about that is that i cried so much on that same bed i cried so much. i cried almost a thousand times more a thousand times more on that same bed i would cry myself to sleep almost every single night because i hated having emotions i hated feeling things i hated the idea that i felt anything so you know after all these years i'm starting to believe that if if you laugh so much at the same place and you cry a lot then the opposite must be true as well right considering how much i've cried considering how many tears i've shed over every single thing in my life i should be able to laugh as much now <laughs> yeah well so yes perfectionism is something way deeper than just wanting things the right way perfectionism is so much deeper than you know i want a 100 on 100 and you know i didn't get it that's so bad it's it's yes that's that's hurtful and that's critical but also it's a lot a lot more deeper than that it's you trying to control every single outcome in your life how you react to things how you feel about things how you express yourself how you exist how you choose to exist as a human being it has to be a certain way there are certain set of rules that you're running by and that's the whole idea that we as a society we in the world need to break we humans are born free we humans are supposed to be running and flying and frolicking and not chasing after these ideals that we have made ourselves so when it comes to incorporating this in art or creativity it it comes with a lot of backlash because no matter what you do let's say i'm making making a making a mandala and it it ends up looking like okay let's say i'm making circles and circles and circles and suddenly one circle is just not circle enough so it's not perfect i'm going to tear it apart and rip it apart and you know be really angry at myself for not me being perfect for not being able to draw that perfect circle now this mindset it is what stops me from going forward it's what st- stops me from believing you know i can do better i can be better or i can make art in the first place it's not self criticism it's not punching myself down it's not constantly making myself believe i can be better that makes me want to go forward it's me believing that i am going to be better because i'm a human i'm bound to grow i am not supposed to be perfect i am supposed to just go ahead and do it and as i do it as i learn as i make mistakes as i mess up more and more and more there will indeed come a point where i have achieved the outcome that i have wanted to achieve but then again your mind plays these games it's going to come back again and be like yo you know uh this is the best you can do you know this artist is doing it like this this artist is doing like this so when is this battle ever going to end when i choose to make the conscious effort to ask that critical voice to depart take its leave politely out the gate and yeah slowly and slowly as a critical voice shuts down there will come a period where you would feel like you know everything is going to shit everything is you know pretty bad i don't have anything to motivate me anymore but there will come a day where that kind voice of inspiration comes in and tells you it's a good day to paint it's a good day to dance it's a good day to sing it's a good day to write what you wanted to write so let's put something together 
if you have reached the end of this video thank you so much for being here thank you so much for engaging with my content and i hope to see more of you soon and please like and please drop in any comments tell me how you feel about this any different experiences which have led you to come to the same conclusion as me as well i'm really open to it please 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 share your experience with me okay bye and thanks for engaging again and to all the sweethearts who have joined me today here's a little kiss for you <laughs>